Well, next up, if you have ever wondered what it might be like to write a book with your spouse, you are about to find out because we have a husband and wife team. I'm going to bring out Jarrett and Susan Schaefer. Come on out here, you guys. And hello. <laughs> I know this is not your first rodeo together, but riches for real estate agents have, be, and do everything you want. That's your book. I want to talk about what it was like, uh, what it is like to work together and then to take on a book project like this. What's that experience been like? And um, well, I'll start with you with that question, Susan. Well, you know, it is a challenge to work with your spouse. And How long have you guys worked together? Uh, almost 30 years. So hanging in there. Those are good. That's a good number. <laughs> you know, there are seasons. Hmm. <laughs> That's just the truth. But, you know, we want to get our message out and we want to help others. And we want them to know that collaboration between spouses is totally ready and you can do it. That's so cool. So why this book? Whose idea was it? And um, and let's talk about why you wrote it, who it's for. Well, we actually started a book and we used a ghostwriter at one time and spent actually more than we spent with the author incubator. We never talked about that. We didn't. Uh, <laughs> it's embarrassing because we spent a lot of money and we never got it done. Mm. And, um, and when we knew that this was a process that was going to be done in 90 days, we looked at each other and said, you know, we're really busy. Our business is doing really great. We're thriving at the time, but we really want to get this message out. Mm. So working with you in 90 days made a big difference. And we found that for the first 80, 83 days, we were talking about the online, discussing what we're going to do, but hadn't written a single word. And then with six days left, um, <laughs> put the manuscript together. And it is such a rewarding um, thing to, to see bestseller status within three hours after it was posted. It's amazing. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, cool. It's like hard work actually can pay off if you have like the right team. I'm sure that's true in real estate too. Actually, it's probably a great metaphor because I see so many real estate agents working long hours. They do a lot of work, what looks like to me, for free. Because if they don't get the listing or it doesn't sell, nobody miraculously pays you, right? Yeah, it's 100% commission. And so for real estate agents, the window of opportunity closes very quickly. So the urgency to, to really hit the ground running and, and to do really well is very important. Even for an agent that's very successful, the, the marketing dollars that they spend and the time that they spend, you know, if they don't get those results, then it's, uh, it's, it can be a very difficult time. The, the, um, you think about it now is July, but if they don't secure that client by the end of this month, it won't close by the end of the year. It's just that kind of sales cycle. So like six months before money is in their bank, they will work for free for six months. Well, there's a, there is a lot of uh, a lot of time in looking for the homes, but that's the typical average. Wow. So that's that's what makes um, you know when folks go into the business, they don't really realize how much money do I need to have set back? What do I need to do? I need a really solid system. You know, who can help me develop the systems and the plans to be able to keep the drama under control and to be able to find clients and be able to close deals? Mm -hmm. All right, Susan, I'm going to ask you this one, but you can pass it off if you think I asked the wrong person. But what do you think is the number one thing that causes real estate agents to fail? Why do they quit? You know, uh, so many agents, what happens is they're trying to secure that next client. And so they get the call or the text or the email to run out and help them to go to the listing appointment, to go show a house. And they're at their child's event. They're at the soccer game and they are left with the dilemma. Do they stop with mm. their child? Do they lose their whole child's life? lifetime of experiences which was part of why they wanted to be a real estate agent in the first place see and that's exactly it so they feel like they have to choose and it is such a dilemma and we're here to say you can have be and do everything you want you can have it all do you know anything about being a parent and a real estate agent uh, <laughs> absolutely we raised two beautiful children we had a tremendously successful business and at one point we deposited over 1.25 million dollars into our personal household checkbook in a year so you can do that too you really can have it all i love the way you guys are obviously a 30-year career um you can uh, retire uh, i mean everybody can retire by the way that's not a news flash you just change your lifestyle but you guys can retire pretty comfortably right now and i love watching your commitment to giving back to the real estate community i know 
you guys have had some highs and lows in your business, sure. uh, like any <laughs> entrepreneur. And I think it's interesting. Tell me if you disagree, but we've had some conversations about this. I think it's actually those lower times, mm -hmm. which is where you made this commitment to give back. Yeah, th no doubt about it. The the uh, the real estate recession uh, hit hit our business and our area uh, and our finances really hard. We 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 didn't bail quickly. We stayed in. We tried to uh, to ride it out. Uh, probably looking back later, maybe a mistake. But we took our commitment to our staff very seriously and 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 to our past clients. Um, it is definitely has been a definite change in the marketplace. Um, but now uh, you're absolutely right. The The reason for this book is to be able to help and to transform, help other agents to transform their business so that they can uh, they can go beyond where they are right now and to to find a whole another gear um, of success. It's, it's just such a powerful message. I'm going to ask you some questions from our audience. Gloria from Honolulu, so Shaka, Shaka, I think I do it like that. Uh, Gloria said, what, if anything, would you have changed before writing your book and working with the author incubator? So is there anything that you would change about your experience? Um, looking back over the experience, I, I, I wish that we had started uh, sooner and the, the process um, went a lot better and a lot smoother than I ever expected. Um, the, the, the quality of the staff um, and the, the folks that we work with um, is, is amazing. The communication is really great. Um, the, the editing is, is really... We should shout out your editor. Who is your editor? Yeah, Anna was our editor. She did a great job. Every week uh, we would work with her and, and it was, uh, she kept the process calm. She kept it moving. Um, working with Cheyenne to keep the to keep us moving in base camp and and all of the the deadlines that have to be met. It, it's it's a process. It's definitely some work. And Angela, uh, Angela, you just no joke. I, it's uh, <laughs> you know it, it, if it needs to be done, if you really really want to write a book, this is the way to go. All right, Marion from Los Angeles is asking, what is the time commitment necessary to get your book done? So the time commitment, um, we wrote our manuscript in six days. You can too. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a whole book on how to do it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you just set aside time and really, as Jarrett said, the author incubator has such a great system. So if you've always wanted to do this, they can absolutely walk you through it. it they've been fabulous. So... Um, Elizabeth followed up. She said, she's from Florida, and she said, what was the amount of work you put into this adventure? Um, and what I want to say is the actual writing, and by that I mean the physical typing of a book, takes somewhere between 24 and 48 hours. I haven't checked with them, but would you say that's about, about right? Yeah. I would so say that's right. The actual typing of that manuscript, you could take a week and do it. You can take three days and pull small nighters. That's my thing. You could take five hours a week for nine weeks. So there are lots of ways to get that manuscript actually written. The reason our authors and what we are looking for when we select authors, the reason we can do that is the preparation of that content is about 30 years <laughs> for some of them it's three years five years ten years but you you guys came to us with an expertise there's a process for getting it written and marketed but you brought a lot of experience to the table in knowing what you're gonna say so a lot of times when we say I wrote the book in six days people are like oh that must not be a very good book but I would say for you guys 30 years plus six days yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, and, and the, the really the focused questions, um, the preparation that you put us into uh, to really concentrate on the ideal reader, something we hadn't really thought of before, um, and what is their problem and how can we really help them solve it? And, and we had to dig deep and really figure that out. That was, uh, that was definitely a very powerful key. Uh, your system is really strong. Okay, last, uh, I am going to take your book. Last question uh, I have to ask you guys, which is uh, any final tip or advice for someone who wants to work as part of a co-author team? I'm asking you this one, Susan. Tips for co-authors. It's usually much harder to write a book with a co-author. So you guys had the graduate course. So I would really say that you have to have a really good energy between the two of you, and you have to agree up front what's the motive. What do you need to do? What 
is the goal and then you're harmonious with it and so that's it that is the best advice i could imagine there it is riches for real estate agents Jarrett and susan schaefer have be and do everything you want you have watched them do it congratulations on your book and thanks so much for being my guest here at the red carpet thank you all right